everybody. Um, so this will just be real quick. I did a short grocery shopping video. I've seen a couple of them on, on YouTube already. And I kind of wanted to go through and show you what I buy for my family. I love to try to stick under a budget of $120. So I kind of went over today. But that that's okay. It happens. Yeah, let's get to it. I hope you enjoy, and if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up, and let me know if you want to do more, or if you have any suggestions for my son that has a lot of allergies, like what, what do you feed your kids that have allergies? He has a dairy allergy and a gluten allergy, so it's really hard to, oh, don't forget the eggs, so it's really hard to find him snacks that he can eat every day, um, so I'm always open to suggestions. I would love to hear what you have to say, so leave me a comment below, but let's get started. Here we go. Okay, so this is everything I got from Costco, and it was $72, so let me kind of explain. This, I got, this actually is two meals. It has two different tenderloins in here. It's two meals and about three lunches that I can make for Ryan and I, so there's that. I love this butter and it's expensive but at Costco it's only like five dollars and it comes with I think like three of three of the uh, packets so it's cheaper at Costco to get them and I'm okay with that I also got chicken I get this at Costco because it comes individually wrapped so this is this will turn out to be for my family. Let's see, we do about two meals and two lunches, probably. Two dinner, three, two dinners and about two or three lunches for me and Ryan, since everyone else eats at work or at school. Um, I love that it's, they come individually wrapped, so I don't have to, um, take them out of the bag and freezer wrap them individually. So I love that about this chicken. They did not have the turkey that I usually get at Costco today for some reason. I also got myself some sliced mangoes because I like mangoes. Luke, my allergy baby, this is one of the only snacks that he can have. So. I always buy them at either Sam's or at Costco because of the amount that comes with them and how often we go through them. One thing I did kind of splurge on today are fig bars. I don't know what it is about Cajuns, but my husband is in love with figs. So I got these for him to take to work, so I don't know if I should include that in my budget, but I am. So anyways, I'll be back when I get done grocery shopping um, at HEB for the rest of my uh, products. And I'm not going to go over $120 for the whole week. That's the goal. Okay, so this is the haul I got from HEB. I spent $81, which was over the budget that I wanted. However, I got a couple of things that will last me until next week, so it kind of evens out. I got... Some nice big old chunk of meat for us to cook. Two things of pork chops. Two pears because I really wanted a pear. Cherry tomatoes. Six cucumbers because we love to snack on cucumbers in this house. Two things of sandwich meat turkey. Some hot dogs for Luke because he loves Luke. He loves his hot dogs. Frozen broccoli. These are frozen broccoli. Ryan's cheese, her favorite. Some carrots that my mom had asked for. I also got Ryan some um, yogurt. I've never tried the HP blend before. However, it was cheaper, so that's what I got. Coffee, and this was not a must. It was obviously something that I just. Okay, it is a must. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> coffee and some sweet cream. I already showed you this from earlier. I just left it on the table. This is something I eat for a snack that's high in protein. 
Um, and it's only 100 calories, and I eat it by itself, but I really like it. It tastes very good, and it's only 100 calories, so I like that. Luke's rice milk, because he cannot have dairy. I got my mom some ibuprofen, which we share, actually. My mom wanted some popcorn um, caramel popped rice, rice chips for her snack. She wanted some uh, deviled ham, which she really likes. Let's not go into that. <laughs> I got three things of frozen corn. I got four things of frozen green beans, but I just now realizing I got the wrong ones because usually these are cut green beans and I usually like to get the full green beans. So I guess I'll just have to live with that accidental decision. That's what I get for shopping late at night. I got more eggs, which we already have a dozen in the fridge, but like I said, it'll last me a little bit longer. Potatoes, because we like to eat potatoes in this family. And Luke needed the story behind the jello. He can't have cupcakes when um, his friends in class have birthday parties. So we we send him a tub of jello so that when everyone else is getting a cupcake or cake, he has his own little snack that he gets to indulge in while everyone else gets cake. He gets jello. But hey, let's not complain. And that's it. And that's what I got from HEB. So I did go over $30 over my budget. However, I'm going to take that out of next week's budget because I believe I got a lot of stuff that will last me till next week. And that's it.